we're going to look at canvas resizing in Affinity Photo. Canvas resizing is different to document resizing because you don't actually resample the pixel data in the document. Instead, it's more about changing the overall composition or increasing the width or height of the document if you are doing compositing work. For example, let's give this panorama some more height at the top here. So what we can do is go to Document and choose Resize Canvas. So on the dialog here, we have the width and height at the top. Then we have the measurement unit, which is currently in pixels. And finally, we have the anchor. So the anchor is the origin around which the canvas is resized. For example, if we were going to add some height to the top of the panorama, what we would do is set the anchor point to the bottom center. Then I'll click the padlock here to unlock the aspect ratio. Then I want to click into height and type a new value, so 3300, for example, and click resize. So now the canvas has been resized, and because we selected the bottom center anchor point, we now have this alpha area at the top here. So one common technique with panoramas is to stretch areas vertically to increase the overall height. And that's what we'll do. I'll move across to the Layers panel and make sure I have the Panorama Pixel Layer selected. Then on the Tools panel, I'll select the Rectangular Marquee Tool. And I just want to click drag and draw out a selection of the sky detail, like so. OK, so now we need to duplicate this selection. We can go to Layer and Duplicate Selection. But notice we have a keyboard shortcut, Command-J or Control-J on Windows. So we'll choose Duplicate Selection. And in our Layers panel, we now have a new pixel layer with that sky content on it. So next, let's go to Select and Deselect. And notice we can use Command-D or Control-D on Windows. Then we want to select the Move tool located here and just drag the top node up to stretch that duplicated sky detail until it fills out that alpha area. So let's do the same to the foreground using slightly different techniques to resize the canvas. So rather than using document and resize canvas, instead we can use the crop tool located here. And all we do here is just drag out to increase the canvas size at the bottom, like so. Then click Apply. And we've expanded the bottom area of the document's canvas. And again, that just has pure alpha at the moment. So again, let's select the initial panorama pixel layer. Use the Rectangular Marquee tool. And I'm just going to draw out a selection of the foreground here like so. And this time I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts to speed things up. So I'll do Command J to duplicate, Command D to deselect, and then V to switch across to the Move tool and just drag that down like so. Okay, so actually looking at this, if we perhaps feel the foreground is slightly too stretched, not a problem. We'll just switch back to the Move tool using V drag this up slightly, then switch across to the crop tool using C and just bring that bottom area of the canvas in slightly and click apply. So there we go, there is our stretched panorama. If I just select these two pixel layers that we've duplicated and hide them, you can see the initial panorama and just with a little bit of canvas resizing and manipulation of pixel layers, we can achieve this, which just adds a bit more height to our panorama. So there we go, a quick look at canvas resizing and a practical application for its use.